Hello, my name is Monica Baldo. I live in Villa Franca di Verona, Italy, and excuse my English because I never practice. I wanted to show you three videos, okay, three videos. Um, where I'll show you my family. I am 42 years old and my husband is 44. I am a doctor. He works in a bank. In 2018, when Derek was five years old and the twins were three years old, we find out that they were all autistic. We have been through years of pain, seeing them frustrated, crying, not talking. Derek was severe, severe, severe. When we got the diagnosis, they told us there was nothing to do with Derek. There was no way out. And the twins we needed to act as soon as we could because uh, Liam was uh, bad, was bad. He was not verbal either, like that, okay? And uh, he, was, uh, he was not paying attention, he had no attention at all. And uh, he was just uh, steaming all the time uh, and that was really bad. Uh, Colin, Colin was having shot, uh, meltdown, mostly meltdown and it was really bad and even though he was the only one who was actually verbal but none of them were playing with each other they were not playing with us they were not even acting like we were in the room okay i could not sing a lullaby i could not feed them because everything was uh, uh, making them throw up uh, imagine uh, one of the problems with autism and we had it we had it for but for free children was people were looking at us and even therapists and they were like I don't know how you're gonna make it now I to, I'll tell you that of course um, I did the test my husband did the test when they told us I was autistic too and my husband was autistic too I felt so relieved and I felt like I'm the only one who knows how to do it and we worked we worked so hard we learn how to do it what people wanted us to to be okay and now now we are not trying to be like others so we're just trying the strategies to live outside in that world in that messy world but also have fun have fun like anyone else maybe not with the same things but having fun living not surviving living and that's the message i wanted to tell you we have been through nightmare, a nightmare, and I'm, I know you are too, but don't give up. Don't give up. You're not alone. We are all over the world, and we're facing the same problem. I didn't have any therapist. We didn't have anything. We had like one hour of therapy per week, and after eight months, I had like um, uh, five hours of therapy per week i paid for everything nothing was given from the state i mm, asked for we only had a, a teacher uh, in elementary so we need to get to elementary to have somebody we ask for help to anyone everyone in the school uh, on the street uh, in the shops uh, and guess what we managed to have help people were so um some of them were just running away. Some others wanted to help, wanted to, to try. And uh, we taught them how to do it. And uh, well, four years. And tell, trust me, they told me that it was so severe. There was nothing to do. Well, today we have kids that travel in Disney Paris by plane, by car, bus. We went to Legoland, Germany. We are traveling without uh, anticipating them where we're going. We go to concert, we go to places, playground, where there is a lot of mess, people, children screaming. We are going to celebration. And uh, remember, my children were not accepting a lullaby, okay? But now they're strong. They're part of a baseball team, not an autistic baseball team, but a baseball team. Okay, so we have a lot of children that have no problems. They are in. They are part of the group. They will always be a little bit different, but we all are different. 
we find strategies to help them when they are in difficulties, like for any other children. What I'm trying to tell you is not to give up. I show you now I show you videos of when we started and then what happened. Hopefully, will give you a lot of hope and you know that strength that you need to go on. Polina, Polina, gira, 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 gira. What the? What the? Napolina. Gioca di qua in questa. Dai, questo. Prendi. Tendi l'orsetto. My children were like that. They were not answering to their name, they were not playing, they were just in their own world and they were having shut down and meltdown. And then they started leaving the world. Of course, we started, we helped them, we did uh, things like this, I make it. But guess what? Well, as soon as they were accepted in a baseball team, we started to take away the therapies and we started to leave more the world and uh, that's the result you can ask us how we did it it's not a method it's not about ABBA it's not about Denver it's not about anything we didn't have all these uh, strategies we had only our mind uh, our will to make it and of course because me and my husband are autistic too we do have similar strategies inside ourselves and we use so what I'm telling you is if you need any help, uh, 
if uh, we can be a help, just ask. And we were going to try to help you too. So, excuse me again, my English. And what we say, it's um, don't give up. Don't ever give up. So, um, combattere sempre, arrendersi mai. Fight, always fight. Don't give up. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao.